Hey, how are you, my YouTube friends? So uh, I'm at uh, Whistler right now, enjoying the beautiful snow. And uh, the season has begun earlier, actually. The snow has been uh, coming in, falling a lot earlier than before. So I'm at the base of uh, Whistler Mountain now. And uh, well, let's, let's talk about, um, let's talk about uh, why I love to come to Whistler to ski. Um, because I don't know. I was when I was young. That's where I learned to ski here, and I been skiing with my friends since forever. And then my kids growing up, and I've been taking them to ski school. And kids here, I think eight and under, are free, so you don't have to pay for a pass, and they're free free to play here, and which is awesome. Uh, yeah, that's one of the main reasons, and plus uh, my family has a place here in Vancouver, so we can just uh, hang out downtown or come up here, and, and we have the options here. And yeah, I really like it. Just enjoy the view here. Look, it's awesome. Isn't that a good, nice scenery for Christmas time, you guys? And this is genuinely, genuinely a good white Christmas. Yeah, thank you. Well, let me tell you uh, why I always hang out in Whistler. Um, we were we were spent the Christmas last year in Japan, and we went to Hokkaido, Sapporo, and that's supposed to be the the best powder snow you can get in the whole world. Which I do agree. You, you just get snowed in so bad, and in the morning you can't you can't even find your car because it's so there's so much snow and. Uh, the, the difference, let me tell you the difference between skiing in Sapporo, Japan, and in Whistler. Number one point is they don't really groom the mountain that much. I mean they groom it but like because it snows so much they don't bother really grooming it. So when you ski down the mountain, usually there's just big chunks of snow on the, on the, on the, on the path, you know, and it's not good because when you ski fast or make turns or stuff like that, it just catches your ski because there's just a big chunk of snow in the middle of nowhere. And sometimes when it's a little bit foggy and cloudy, and I'm sure you're gonna be a, you roll into a snowball and just, just <laughs> fall, which I always, you know, tend to catch the edge. So that's number one. And number two, the rooms there, condos or whatever, it's pretty expensive, you know. Like, at least minimum, like 200 bucks US. And the thing is, uh, unlike here, you, you know, you cheat a bit, you say, oh, well, we're gonna stay in a hotel, for example, four people, you can s sneak one or two more in the room, it's okay, right? But in Japan, I don't think, it's a culture or something, they, um, it's per person. They charge you a room, but it's by how many persons. So like if a family for four, they'll ask you how many people, you, you would say four. Oh, okay, then I'll just, uh, one room will be fine. And they'll say, no, it won't be fine. So there will be four people, we're gonna charge you four persons, like per head count. So they would, you obviously, if you're paying the same to get one room, why not just get two rooms because you're gonna charge per person. And the deal is, they check you, <laughs> they will check you out and, and make sure that you register everything and um, charge you per person and that sucks. That's the number two point I don't like about it. And, uh, and another thing I don't like here in Japan is that if you don't rent a car, it's really convenient because like uh, we, the, the resort we go to in, in Sapporo, it's all kind of spread out and where you live and where and you can't really wait you can wait for shuttle buses but it's far away and uh, there's it's just the transport is no good if you really want to get around so you much must uh, rent a car right so you must rent a car and you getting a chance to get stuck because those all-wheel drives aren't really good on the snow because of the how thick how much powder it has even on the roads yeah, and and yeah, and number four, I think another point I don't like is the sidewalks and stuff like that. 
uh, it's always icy and there's no law or anything. People just build, there will be ice built up on top of the snow. So you really have to be careful when you walk on the paths. And you guys been to Sapporo skiing, I'm, I'm sure you agree with me. Because there's no law that you must clean the pathway or anything. Even downtown uh, Sapporo, when it was snowing, it's all iced out. We had to actually buy the spikes to put on our shoes so we won't slide down. And that was a bad experience, let me tell you. Another thing I don't like uh, Japan, the fifth point is it, the snowstorm. Usually you have major delays and that's pretty normal, okay? You might wait, if you're lucky, like a few hours or something. But we were, last year we were stuck there for four days. Four days. And that's, that's really bad, man. And the thing is, we don't mind. The airline just say, says, you know, yeah, we'll be flying, taking off two days. Just go out, get a hotel room. They'll just tell you to stand by at the airport with your luggage for until like 11 in the mid, uh, almost midnight time. And says, well, the plane's not taking off. They did that for us for three days. And that's total BS. And we were in the immigration area, the terminal, and there's no food, man. Like everybody had, it's like rations or anything. It's not the money or anything. It's like buying something you have to line up. Like for example, we want, we lined up at 8.30 in the morning for breakfast. And um, this, yeah, this is a rent. Uh, uh, it's a rent, okay. Um, we waited, we lined up 8.30 and thought about, oh well, we're just gonna start up early. Because the store didn't open until nine, okay. So we wait there 8.30. And then guess what time we got, got our food. 12 o'clock noontime, it was lunchtime. That's how long we lined up for. And that air, that airport in Sapporo, it's really small and it's not equipped. Let me tell you, it's not e equipped at all. And which, is, which isn't fun at all, you know. So that's, so we had to, all they did is just, well, we're gonna give you some blankets, a pillow, and so just, we just had to find a spot to, um, to stay somewhere in the airport. So I'll, I'll, I'll post some, you look at some photos, I'll show you the photo. You, we don't care! This is a, the fourth day! My goodness, fourth day! You don't have time! 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 So that was really... So this year, you know, ask, do you guys want to go to Japan skiing? No, no way, they don't want to ski. So I think they had enough for skiing in Japan. You know, they, they don't really like it at all. So that's, that's, that's Japan for you. That, that's my experience personally. You guys, whoever's been skiing in Japan, you guys might have had much better luck than I do or whatever, you know, but for me, it's just, I, yeah, it's a rent. Yes, I know it is. Well, you can see my silly hat that uh, covers my ears. I really like this, you know why? Because this has like a scarf, but it, it's like a scarf, but you can put your, your, uh, you can put your uh, hands in it, it's like gloves. So you would never lose gloves if, you, if I wore this hat with uh, built-in built -in scarves, you know? <laughs> That's awesome. Everyone's having fun, you can see. Well, like Mexican food here. And uh, Burton's, if you guys are uh, riders out there, Burton's a pretty awesome brand here. I'm not getting paid for it anyways. So look at the mountain, isn't that awesome? And uh, heli skiing is great. I love heli skiing because you can have all the virgin snow, you know. You'll be the first to get on the mountain. And if you want powder, this is the place to come. Thank you for joining me today at Whistler. My mouth is not talking properly because it's so cold. <laughs> so uh, relax, enjoy, like, and share. And I'll see you on the next one, okay? Have a great one.